Appreciate everybody being here. Um, this is obviously the first annual for us uh, signing day bash, and we're excited about the class that we signed. There's a lot of people um, to thank that go into this. I've got a couple coaches here. I, I, not all of them are here. I let them, I let them go home. Nobody's seen, they've not seen their wives in about uh, four or five weeks. So most of them headed back to uh, see their family. But I do have a couple here. Coach Gabe Gardenia is with me right there. Coach Gardenia. <laughs> Coach Michael Starkey that was here with us last year. Coach Starkey. <laughs> Coach Kevin Peters. He came with me from we are excited about this class. Uh, Jeremy mentioned to you a little bit uh, about we got here. We got here at the very beginning of January, and then the NCA mandates a dead period that second week in January. So we really had about two and a half weeks on the road to go out and sell the vision uh, of Delta State, sell what uh, we believe is the best Division II program in the country academically, um, obviously on the football field, and then the community. So we had two and a half weeks to do that, and our guys worked hard to make that happen through admissions. Uh, our admissions department helped us out tremendously on campus. A lot of other people, there's professors here that took their time on uh, Thursday nights and Friday nights to really help uh, us lay the foundation. I'm really appreciative, uh, appreciative of you guys doing that. But we, we were able to sign 28 uh, prospects for our football program. Um, 23 of them were uh, high school students. We had uh, five mid-year enrollees. Uh, four, of, four of those mid-year guys were, were here right when I took the job. We were able to add two more and then went out and found the 23 high school um, prospects. Got those from, I think, five different states, obviously Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, uh, Tennessee, and then we had uh, got one man from California. And so uh, we're excited about the diversity that it brings, and we feel like this will lay, help us lay the foundation of the program that we're trying to, to continue to build and sustain. Um, Jeremy mentioned we went heavy on the high school prospects, and that's how we're going to try to build it and sprinkle in the, uh, the junior college mixes there, and we, we felt like we did a great job of that. Uh, and we're excited about what uh, this class can bring. When you lose 35 seniors, you better hope these guys can come in and play right away. And uh, we feel like there's some that are, uh, have the chance to come in and contribute early. So what I'm gonna do, I'll, I'm gonna go through, and just mention briefly, I'm not gonna go through everything about the players, but I'm gonna go through briefly. You guys have questions about anything, feel free to uh, shoot. And I'm just gonna mention to you a little bit about that. Out of the, out of the 28, Players that we signed, we had eight offensive linemen uh, and six defensive linemen. So half of our class was uh, offensive line, defensive line, which was a big need. That's the majority of the guys that we lost from last year's team were offensive line and defensive line. So we really tried to fill that need uh, on both sides of the ball. So we, uh, half the class was obviously 14 there. So we, we made a big emphasis on that part. Uh, we, we weren't losing any linebackers. Uh, we're, sh we're switching up the scheme a little bit on defense. We did sign one linebacker, uh, but most of the linebackers are back, so we felt solid about where we are there. Uh, we, we signed one quarterback. He was a mid-year enrollee. Uh, that would give us an opportunity to allow him to compete with uh, what we have coming back in our program. Obviously, we have to replace uh, Micah Davis, who was uh, you know, obviously a great player uh, in this league and also across this country, so we have a lot of shoes to fill with him. So we, ho we hope... Uh, Spencer Van Brunt is the mid-year enrollee can help come in and give us some uh, competition this spring. Uh, we signed four running backs. Uh, now, they're sort of running back, the way we use on our offense, they'll be running back slash slot receivers. Uh, they're sort of interchangeable. So we signed four of those uh, young men there. We feel really good about the uh, potential they have to bring us some uh, much needed speed from the backfield and the perimeter. Uh, one tight end that we signed, we've, we've, we've got to get some depth there. Went after four defensive backs. Uh, we had three high school guys and then a, a mid-year safety transfer um, that uh, we were Delta State had been on for a little while, and he, uh, we finally got him to get into school, so we're excited about him. And then we went after three wide receivers from the high school ranks, and, or two from the high school ranks and one uh, junior college wide receiver that was at mid-year for a total of 28. So we're excited about them and, and the way they fit into what we're trying to do. Uh, the hard part for us, so you know, and, and I'll go through this, is we uh, obviously the guys that are on our team, we're trying to find out how much they're going to fit into our system as we're bringing in guys, you know, for our system uh, high school-wise. So that was the big challenge for us is knowing who we have and then who we need to try to plug in depending on what their skill set was. And so I think our staff did a great job of that. But if you'll follow down with me, I'm going right down the top list there. The first one is Dante Barksdale. Dante is actually in, uh, enrolled in school already. Uh, he was a mid-year signee from Northeast Mississippi Com uh, Community College. Uh, he'll fit one of those slot positions. He's been working hard in the time that we've been here. We're excited about him. Uh, next guy down, Patrick Beffley. He's from uh, Harvey, Louisiana, West Jefferson High School. 
Uh, we got, uh, uh, he was actually dropped by Louisiana Lafayette about three days before signing date. Uh, Coach, uh, Coach Schuyler McGee and Coach Kevin Peters uh, recruited Louisiana for us and sort of knew about him, and we were able to come in and felt like we got a really good player there off of that. Ed Bowley is a big offensive lineman. Uh, uh, he's huge. You want to get off the bus with him for sure. He's all of 6'4 and 320. He's probably about 350, to be honest with you. He, he's a big boy. Uh, we're, uh, we're excited about him and uh, the opportunity he has to come in and, and contribute early. Contribute early. Uh, Jeremy Boyd is a defensive lineman from Hoover High School in Hoover, Alabama. Hoover, uh, obviously, if you watch any of MTV and know anything about high school football, it's uh, probably the best program in the state of Alabama. Uh, they, they played for three state championships. They won one, lost two of them, but they've got a great program. He's a uh, 3.8 and a 28 on his ACT. He wants to be a, wants to be a doctor or a pharmacist. He said he might even want a coach. We tried to talk him out of that when he was here. Tried to tell him to use that intelligence for something positive. And so, but we're, we're excited about him coming and joining our program. Uh, Chris Brumfeld's a running back from Covington, Louisiana, St. Paul. One of those kids out of Louisiana that we feel like will bring some speed to us. Uh, Brian Carmichael's an offensive lineman from uh, Millington, Tennessee, right outside of Memphis. Uh, big guy, and we're excited that he can come in and hopefully give us some immediate uh, playing time. Jamal Collier was one of his teammates uh, from there, too, uh, as an offensive lineman. Uh, we're excited that they can come play together. That was something that they were... Um, uh, really juiced about. Ashton Davis is a tight end that actually signed with uh, Southern University out of high school. Southern University in Baton Rouge. Um, had some, uh, end up going there, just really didn't like the atmosphere. Was sort of sitting out. Coach Starkey found out about him as a tight end a potential, so we're, we're excited about him. Uh, Trent Dunn is a teammate of um, Boyd, Jeremy Boyd from Hoover, Alabama. He was a starting nose guard there. For you guys that love to duck hunt, he is a huge duck hunter, so when you see Trent, please uh, make sure you invite him out to duck hunt with you because he uh, that was one of the great selling points for him to play at a great program and also get to duck hunt. So that was an easy sell right there. So I told him he'd get invited for sure on the duck hunt, so make sure you back me up on that. But he's a great player, and uh, we feel good about him. Isaac Dutz is a running back from Naples, Florida. A couple of our coaches, myself included, has Florida ties. Uh, and so we were able to uh, go down there and, and get somebody from Naples High School that's uh, one of the top uh, programs in the uh, state of Florida at their level, uh, multiple state championships, do a great job there. And uh, we're excited about him coming into our program. Tim Foy is from Hueytown, Alabama, running back from the uh, state of Alabama, played with the number one high school uh, quarterback in the country that's, uh, I guess, committed to Florida State right now, not signed with them yet, so we're going to see if we can work him up this way, let Tim <laughs> help us with it. But... Um, Great player, good kid. He's really excited. One of those guys that said, Coach, uh, Delta Space is the place I want to be. This is where I can see myself uh, being for the next five years and wanting to contribute, and that's the type of kid you want in your program. He can see the value of coming here and getting the education here. Jameson Goins is a defensive lineman from Gulfport, Mississippi. Uh, you guys that saw, that some of the people that saw him when he comes on campus, you can't miss him. He's a, he's a very big, good-looking kid and had a great time. We're excited about him. He's going to feel an immediate need at our nose guard position. Uh, he can come in, and, and he's expected to play right away. <clears throat> Dominique uh, Hersey is here already. He's an offensive lineman. He was a mid-year transfer, JUCO offensive lineman. Gives us much-needed depth. He's been uh, working with us now, obviously, about the last three or four weeks. And so we feel like he's going to be able to come in and push for a starting job based off of our depth. Ed, I'm not going to pronounce his last name, that next guy there. It's, uh, it's actually a – help me out. Emio Paria. Emio All right. Ed Emio Paria. Okay, we just call him Ed. Yeah, so, yeah, so, we call him Ed. Ed is a, Ed is a Florida State transfer. Ed was a, he visited, he was at Florida State for two years. Two years, decided to transfer, set out this past fall. Um, Coach Starkey had been recruiting him for a while since uh, he'd been here, and he finally had the opportunity to get here. So we're hoping that we can get some big things from him in the secondary, uh, where we need some uh, immediate help back there. Daniel LaRocca, offensive lineman from Louisiana. Uh, great kid, going to give us much needed depth. Andre Lucius is here already. He's an offensive lineman um, that's going to push for a starting job. Uh, TJ McDonald is an outside linebacker, what we're going to call Bandit, in our 3 4 defense. Uh, you'll, um, so we're, he's going to give us some. Uh, we don't really have a lot of Bandits on the team right now because of the uh, difference in systems. So he's going to give us somebody that can come in and do something right away. Shaquille Moore is a strong safety from Fairleigh High School in Tennessee. He's a state champion in Tennessee in the hurdles, 
110 hurdles and three, uh, three, I think it's 330 hurdles, if I'm not mistaken. Great athlete. So we're, we're, we think he's going to come in and contribute right away. Casey Osborne's a wide receiver out of Flowery Branch, Georgia, that we got out of the, there, the state of Georgia. Coach Gardenia did. Big uh, 6'3", 205, 210-pound receiver that uh, will help us replace some of the guys that we lost uh, from the wide receiver position. Eric Rogers is a defensive lineman from Starkville. Um, he is, uh, was probably the best player on their state championship runner-up team. He a uh, 6'3", 220-pound guy that we feel is going to grow into a, be a very good defensive lineman for us. Wesley Sanders is a corner from uh, Bessemer Academy right outside of uh, Birmingham and there in Tuscaloosa. Uh, corner was a, a position that we needed a lot of help at, and he's going to fill that, help lead his team to a state championship. Uh, Lucas Shipman from Louisiana, he's another one of those bandits that we talked about earlier, an outside rush in guy. Uh, he, looks like he, he looks like he's ready to play right now coming in. On the, on the visit, you know, looking all good. So we hope he plays as good as he looks. So uh, we're excited about what he can bring. Devin Slate is a junior college nose guard that will be joining us uh, this, uh, um, need to answer that? Okay. Uh, you sure? You good? <laughs> all right. Devin is a, a nose guard. As we said, we needed some depth there. He'll be, he'll be joining us this fall. Eric Stevens is another corner defensive back from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, that's a uh, 22-1 top 200 meter guy, really can run. So we feel like he's going to bring us some much needed um, athleticism. Rondreas Truesdale is from South Carolina, back, uh, back where we came from there. He, uh, he's going to sort of set a little path, I think, from uh, that state up here. So we, we think he's, he's a great kid, uh, comes from a great family, high academic kid, knows what he wants. He saw the value in coming out here and, and sort of being a trailblazer coming to Delta State, and he, he really wants to maybe go into nursing, loves the nursing program here. And so he, uh, we feel good about him and what he's going to bring to our table. Spencer Van Brunt is the quarterback, a mid-year enrollee. Uh, he's here working out with us. We're hoping he's going to push for playing time and compete for the starting job. Justin Venstra is from Gulf Coast, Mississippi, uh, Mississippi Gulf Coast. He's here with us already as an offensive lineman trying to compete for a starting job. And then Cody Weaver is a high school mid-year enrollee uh, from the state of Georgia. Um, he uh, actually, I think, was trying to be part of the team last year and, and for some reason didn't work out and showed up on my door there in January. So I said, come on, join us. So it, I said, we need offensive linemen. So it worked out with him. Uh, he's here working with us and getting a jump start. So that's 28 guys that we've brought into this program. The thing that I'm, I'm excited about is they're all, they're all quality kids. They all bring, all bring different personalities and unique personalities to our program. More importantly, they all wanted to be here. I think that's important. They wanted to be part of Delta State. They wanted to be part of the academic institution. They wanted to be part of the tradition of the football program. And they want to be part of this community. And so we're excited about that. And I think this is going to be the class that helps lay our foundation to uh, help us bring home the uh, national championship.